Hey guys, today I have my favorite sweet potato recipe for you. I'm not a big sweet potato lover. I don't particularly care for the sweetness, but when I make them like this, I cannot get enough. This is really easy to make and super yummy. I hope you guys enjoy. For this recipe, you will need salt, pepper, chili powder, and some sort of oil. I used olive oil. You'll need some sweet potatoes. I used four small ones, an onion, and a green vegetable. I usually use Brussels sprouts, but this time I only have green beans on hand. To start, we're just gonna go ahead and wash our sweet potatoes. Once your sweet potatoes are clean, you can go ahead and dice them. I try to keep mine as uniform as possible. We want them to cook quickly and evenly in the pan, so we don't want to have any pieces that are much smaller than others because those would burn while the others are cooking. As you can see here, I had five sweet potatoes. I only ended up using four, and I have four cups of sweet potatoes in this bowl. And now we're gonna go ahead and dice our onion. Now we're gonna go ahead and start cooking. I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna turn it up to high. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of oil to the bottom. And then I will add my sweet potatoes in and my onions. I do add a little bit of oil on top once those things are in the pan, only because I want the potatoes to cook quickly. And then I will go ahead and start seasoning. I start off with a little bit of salt and then I add some pepper and chili powder and I just let this cook while stirring it up. You can turn your heat down to medium high heat and now you can go ahead and prep your green vegetables. If you're using Brussels sprouts, you can cut them in half. For the green beans, I chose to cut them into bite-sized pieces because I think it will be easier to eat like this. And then about 10 minutes later, you can return to your potatoes and you will see that they have started to soften up. And you can go ahead and add your green beans in. You want to go ahead and add some more salt and pepper to taste. I also like to add more chili powder because I just like the flavor of it. And you're gonna let this cook for maybe another 10 to 15 minutes and just stirring it occasionally, making sure that it's not burning or sticking to the bottom of your skillet. And here is the finished product. This recipe is one of my favorites. It's super delicious and healthy too. Let me know if you try it in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're liking my recipe videos, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos from me. I post a video every day, Monday through Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys. Tuesday tip for you. And I wanna talk about discipline.